Hi there, we're on day three of our disciple making journey with Jesus Obeys the Father. And it's really just an awesome thing when you just sit and meditate. And I encourage you to, to sit and meditate over the scriptures that's presented. Sit and meditate over the scriptures that come to mind. Jesus fully obeyed the Father. Not just mostly, not 99% of the time, but fully. None of his actions were his own. None of his thoughts were his own. It was whatever the Father told him to do, told him to say. Remember, he was obedient even to the point of death, death on a cross. That's huge. That's mind-blowing. That's certainly countercultural to what you and I do. Countercultural, perhaps not to what we do. Perhaps certainly not to what we know, but uh, just countercultural. We have these statements that might resonate with you. Uh, rules are meant to be what? Broken. It's better to ask permission than what? Forgiveness. Or sorry, it's better to ask forgiveness than permission. The speed limit is what? A suggestion. I'd like to add another one that I grew up hearing. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. This was in a sports context. You see, obedience to the ultimate authority, whether it's your teacher, whether it's your employer, whether it's the government, whether it's to God, isn't necessarily built into who we are because we have this insane flesh that wants what's gonna give us immediate satisfaction, immediate gratification, which isn't always how God works. But we know that his ways are better, his ways are, are higher above ours. And so as a part of this study, uh, it's not uh, be obedient or else God is gonna come and down and smite you, but rather an obedience motivated by love beats obedience by fear by a long shot. And that's the obedience that Jesus had. He so loved the Father. He so loved the world. Remember God so loved the world that he gave his only son? Jesus so loved the Father that he was completely obedient to him. And so as we meditate on these truths of Jesus, as we get filled with awe, with wonder, with reverence, it's naturally going to flow out, overwhelm ourselves with, with love as we get filled with the Holy Spirit deeper and deeper, as we're meditating on these truths. How could obedience not follow? It, it, it won't be easy at times. In fact, some of the things that we're going to be asked to do, some of the things that the Holy Spirit is going to lay on our hearts, is going to be scary. It's going to be things we're not going to want to do. But I'd encourage you to lean to that and to continue with us day by day uh, in this disciple-making journey. If you haven't done the first couple few days, go ahead and start today. Start tomorrow with day number one. You can watch these videos as you go through. But just remember, Jesus... He was obedient to Father because of his great love. And my prayer for us as a church is that we would fall deeper and deeper in love with him. As his knowledge becomes head knowledge to heart knowledge, it would just flow out of us in obedience. Because we love him. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much that you first loved us. Thank you so much that you love the Father. You gave a wonderful example of obedience. I pray that we would fall deeper and deeper in love with you, King Jesus this study. Lord, illuminate on our hearts those areas in which we need to be obedient and give us the courage and the bravery to do that. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen.